if Cowboy Bebop had more animal sex, if Akira had more child slavery, if Rick and Morty actually showed genitals, you'd have Mega Bitch. Megan has just woken up to find her ship has been stolen, but the real problem is she's still on it. Thus begins this darkly humorous sci-fi adventure and permanent reminder to never return to Earth. Megabitch, ship out of luck, tells the story of how Megabitch gets her name by accidentally becoming a domestic terrorist and instigating war on the degenerate west coast of what was once the United States. How does this all lead to a civil war? The formation of a child army? Split custody of intergalactic puppies? Find out in Megabitch Arc 1. Megabitch. Thick babe putting the fat in femme fatale. Captain of the ship. Psst, she's not actually a bitch. Captain Archon. Not the captain. Not hairy, not bald, balding. You now have a hero to relate to. No, every team needs a grandpa. Some call him Papa, some call him Daddy. Sparkles, sadist, drug fiend, sentient being. And they're trapped on this shitty place called Earth. Earth, a third world planet. Everything you ever threw in the garbage can, where did it all go? The oceanic trash ceiling, a solid layer of trash that functions as a landmass atop Earth's oceans and seas. In what was once California, the coastline of Detritus shares the demilitarized beach with the hub of derangement, led by the Big Squish, part game show host, part sadist, parts missing. The hub of derangement is a bastion for criminals, but also home to millions of sentient life forms trapped in their lives by poverty and limited options for citizenship elsewhere. Written by degenerate art house madman Drew Hansen and illustrated by Christian Cabral, who is very sad and stable, Megabitch is here to make you laugh and remind you why uncensored independent comics are so much goddamn fun. And thanks for supporting us. We're both really excited about this project. I'm already writing issues 9 to 13, 1 through 8 is already fully written, and then Christian right now is illustrating issue 3 and he's inking issue 2, so we're already making progress on the subsequent issues. So if you're excited about a continuous series, this is the one to check out. Special thanks to our amazing colorist Kimberly from Brazil. She is incredibly talented and professional. We've loved working with her and are super excited to show you everything that we've come up with together as a team. Also, big shout out to our featured lore artist. Every issue is going to have lore at the back, and so we go out and find incredible artists that we want to collab with to make fun lore for the comic. So here's a shout out to them. 